What's going on guys? It's the Beast Pokeballer. Here as always and today guys, we have a Wi-Fi battle against my friend Happy Exceeds, aka Diamond Gold. Um his Twitter will be in the description below, but we have another live UU battle today. Uh, let's go with music 20. I don't know what 20 is. Uh, we have another live UU battle for you guys. Um so yeah, my team today is kind of cool. It's different than any teams I've brought recently. We have Hitmonlee dropping a lower tier. Uh, we have Zapdos, we have Mega Swampert, which I literally like have never used before, which is pretty cool. Um, we have Espeon for that magic bounce. We have nice and tanky Porygon 2, which I meant to give Thunderbolt, but it doesn't matter. Um, it still has Ice Beam. And then we have my uh, Needle Queen. This is just a leftover set. It's kind of weird. Uh, what it's going to do, kind of, is uh, it, it, it has like good attacks and it's modest nature and everything. But it also has Stealth Rock, so it's kind of like a hidden Stealth Rocks user. So we have a bit of a weakness to Ice, that's about it, and Psychic. Um, but you know, Hitmonlee is not really made to live, it's just kind of a sweep, because it is kind of a glass cannon. Uh, it has the Life Orb. Zapdos is rocking the Safety Goggles to protect us from Sleep Powder and whatnot. Uh, and like Sandstorm, I don't know what he's packing. Swampert, of course Swampertite. Uh, Espionus always has Light Clay, of course. Uh, Porygon 2's got that Eviolite, and lastly, Nido Queen has the lefties, as I've said before. So, let's see what he has for us. Let's take a picture of his team. I should do this more often. Uh, he has for us... Oh god, that's a Mega Blastoise. He has a Mega Blastoise. He's got that... Oh, what's that thing called? Chestnut? Oh god, that that annoying thing. Oh god, uh... Mamoswine. He has Mojo Jojo. He also has the... Porygon 2 himself, and lastly, Rotom Heat. Uh, if I were him, I'd lead with the Rotom Heat, the Mamoswine, or the Infernape. So, water kind of does pretty good against that. We could start with Anchor Arms over here. That might not be a terrible idea. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to do that. He might also lead with the uh, Porygon, though, which would be annoying. He doesn't have any Ghost types, so we can High Jump Kick away. Um... Let's see, I think it would most likely be best to start out with Zapdos, actually. Uh, just because, you know, nothing here can really hit Zapdos too hard except for the Mamoswine. And, uh, yeah, the, the Blastoise, possibly. Um, and then we'll always have Booty in the back in, class, in, case, in case, oh god, English. In case he wants to start out with throwing some rocks at us. So that should be pretty helpful for us. And, yeah, I guess he's still picking when he wants to go first. It should be a pretty good battle. I know Happy is a pretty good battler himself. So, yeah, I do hope you guys enjoy this video, by the way. Remember to leave a like and uh, hit that sub button if you haven't yet already. Notice that layout's off a little. There. It's better. All right. <laughs> um, What's he going to lead out with? What is he going to lead out? Ooh, this music's pretty epic. Uh, also, shout out to my friend Tabes for jetting me months. I love him. Anyways. We're going to lay off with our Zapdos, of course. He's going to lay off with the Infernape. But now, he might have Ice Punch or something. Um, so, he's either going to switch. like go for He might go for a U-turn. And I really don't want to have my... I um, really don't want Espeon to take a U-turn this early on. Uh, so, he might go for Rocks. But if worse comes to worse, we do have the Defog on this, as you guys can see. So I'm just going to go ahead and launch the Thunderbolt at him. I think that might be the best thing to do. We could switch into Anchor Arms maybe, but I don't really want him to take damage at the moment. I'm pretty sure he has the Ice Punch. Because he might have been predicting us to start with Elizabeth. Uh, I'm just going to stay in and just launch a Thunderbolt, see what happens. He's going to use Nasty Plot. Ouch. Do we priority on this team? I know he has probably Mach Punch, uh, but as we can see, he's a special attacking variant, so I definitely wasn't expecting. He's going to eat that up pretty well, uh, but he's not going to be able to take another one. I don't know if I'm faster or not. Let's find out. I know he can when he kills, right? He's going to Fire Blast. Uh, unfortunately, it is going to connect. I don't... That's not going to kill, right? No. Oh, oh, critical hit. That's not good. All right, that's a great start. Um, What can outspeed? What is Infernape speed? Well, I know Hitmonlee is pretty fast. Uh, but at the same time, he most likely has nothing to touch our anchor arms. So I can just take this opportunity to set up the rain right now. So I'm going to Mega Evolve and hit up that rain dance real quick. See what he does. 
us see what he does. We're gonna make evolve. Uh, he definitely. Uh, does he get grass knot? Ooh, he does get grass knot. Ooh, ooh, he gets grass knot, doesn't he? Ooh, it's grass knot. Vacuum wave. Ah, oh. it's gonna do nothing. Actually, I did a lot. Brain dance comes off, and uh, we're looking nice and powerful now. So that's really good. He was like expecting to go down there, or that's all he has for us. So, is it safe to go for a... Ice Punch will probably kill, but do I really want to risk it? Um, I can honestly just go for a Waterfall if he switches into the Chestnut. Then we'll get the next turn to go for the Ice Punch on it. Yeah, looking at it, Waterfall's definitely our safest play. He might go into the Blastoise as well. But then he can't really touch us, so let's see. He's going to go for the Vacuum Wave. That's fine. That actually is doing a lot. Wow. I thought we'd be able to eat those vacuum waves a little bit better. It's weird. And the critical hit, which we didn't need. We could have used that on the first turn with Zapdos. Sucks that we lost Zapdos for really fast. He's really defensive. I was definitely expecting him to be a special or a physical attacker. I thought that we could live a hit for sure. Not 100% sure if that, uh... He's got... Oh my god, he has Sift, Swift, Swift, Swifts. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Alright, well... I see no reason not to stay in. Uh that Swift Swim's annoying. Ooh, that might be bad. Uh, I'm gonna just Waterfall. There's nothing better to do. Maybe we'll get a flinch. This guy's actually really good damage. And he's gonna go for the Ice Beam. Will that take us out? Yeah, probably. No? Yeah, no, it doesn't. Nice. So we actually have another opportunity to get the flinch. Which could actually seal the deal. Uh, it is not very good to go off of hacks like that. But it's definitely a possibility. Uh, if he goes for a recover here, it'd be kind of weird. He's going to go for the Ice Beam, which is going to take us out. That's fine by me! That's fine by me. I want the rain to go away. But it's still out. Uh, go to our own, but then it'll become a stall war. Alright, I'll go into Hitmonlee, and I'll straight up go for the knockoff. We might... I doubt we're faster, though. Hmm. I'll go for the knockoff. Should hit hard, right? He's gonna go for the toxic. That's actually fine. Like, we're a Hitmonlee. We're not meant to, you know, live that long. Uh, knockoff is gonna connect, and it's gonna take him out. That's really good. That's a big threat out of the way. So that's cool. Uh, knockoff the Eevee Light doesn't really matter. Losing some of our HP. The rain's gonna stop, which would have been nice a turn earlier. So what's he gonna do? We lost our Mega already, and one of our best defensive threats. Uh, but we also took down one of his greatest Pokemon, so that's fine. He's gonna go on a Chestnut, which can probably eat anything I have to throw at it, for sure. Uh, what moves do I got? Yeah, nothing I really want to go for right now. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is switch into Elizabeth, knowing that I can basically wall out anything he wants to throw at us. I know. I believe he's more of a physical tank. Uh, he might be running the Assault Vest Drain Punch variant, which would be kind of scary. Uh, he's also... He's going to set up Leech Seed. Alright, I could have gone to uh, Espeonza, but uh, that's fine. Not too afraid. Uh, it sucks being Leech Seeded, but we should be able to potentially hit him really hard here. So he can switch out or he can stay in. Either way, I'm going to throw an Ice Beam his way. Uh, he could switch into like Blastoise or something, which he, I guess he's going to go into either Blastoise or... Rotom Heat. He's gonna have Mamoswine, actually. That's weird. I guess he might be rocking the Thick Fat. So, I guess it's gonna be resisted, I believe, right? Yeah. Uh, even then, uh, I shouldn't stay in, really. I shouldn't. Then again, what else do I have to go into? Could go into Balby, but I don't really want to take some huge physical hit. Also, there could be a knockoff coming. I'm going to stay in, and I'm going to launch an Earth Power at him. See what he does about it. He's going to go for the Protect. Alright. We could have gotten rocks up there. That would have been nice. So now he knows that we're not Scarf, which I guess he actually already knew because of the left o leftovers. Um... Alrighty, uh, 
I, I have nothing better to do than just launch the Earth Power again, really. He's gonna go for the Earthquake, that's gonna hit hard. Damn. Uh, we can go to hit him only now. Not protect, because he's going to... Or not high jump kick, because he's going to protect. So, just on the off chance that he switches, I'll go for a knockoff. Is he gonna... He might not protect. Yeah, he... Okay, he protected. Poison damage is gonna do a little bit. That's fine. I'm not even worried about it. All right, I'll go for the HJK now. See how much it's gonna do. Should knock him out, I think. Right there we go. That's my boy Hitmonlee doing your job. Uh, this is just a life orb set. This isn't uh, unburdened. Unfortunately, it has reckless, so high jump kick does a ton more damage. You can one hit kill a bunch of trash. Uh, so what's he getting into now? What is he getting into now? Possibly the chestnut, I'd assume. Yeah. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is switch an Espeon, knowing that we could, if he goes for the uh, that one attack, we'll launch it back at him. The Leech Seed. This battle's looking pretty even so far. That's nice. All right, booty. Will we see that booty go bouncing? Let's see his Drain Punch. That's gonna do some damage, but really not that much. Yeah, nothing at all actually. Wow. Cool. Uh, that now gives me a chance to hit a Psychic, which I know will do a ton. Uh, is he gonna switch? What could he switch into? I don't know. I'm just gonna stay in and go for Psychic. He's not- he, we know he's not, um, Assault Vested because he went for the... That one attack. Is he gonna go into Blastoise now? Yeah, he's gonna go into Blastoise. Blastoise is gonna be hard for us to deal with. I need to learn how to save my Megas better. Oh, that does really good damage, actually. Uh, I know he's gonna stay in and go for the Dark Pulse, most likely, so I wanna switch out into Bulby, to be honest. I don't have the Thunderbolt, that would have been so useful here. But I could Toxic Style him to death. Because I know, I, I really don't want to lose Hitmonlee, because I know we could probably take out the Rotom. And uh, yeah, going into Bulby is really all we can do here. It sucks, like I said before, that I unfortunately don't have the, uh, the Thunderbolt on this thing. Uh, we're going to trace it, we're going to get Torrent, which is going to do nothing. Mega Launcher would do nothing either, so. Alrighty. He's going to uh, don't use, alright, he's going to use Scald, that's fine. Uh, if he burns, that's going to suck. Honestly, we could have stayed in there. Oh, pfft. yeah, I had to get the burn. Alright, that's cool by me, I guess. Uh, yeah. Let us go for the Toxic here. Just to hurt it. The Dark Pulse is going to come off. I don't know why he's not using Aura Sphere. I find that weird. Oh my god. The Toxic. That is so unfortunate. You're kidding me. Um, I'll just I'll just give a try attack, really. Skull can go off. I know that my Hitmonlee is not going to be able to take out the Chestnut, so I need to go into him now to get out the high jump kick. We need high jump kick also not to miss. Uh, but Life Orb of a high jump kick is going to do a ton of damage. To what? I guess he can switch into the Chestnut if he wants. But he's not going to. And we're going to connect. That's great. That's big. That's big. That's huge. It's going to take out his Blastoise, making it a 2-2. Two to two. Looking kind of even right now, his Rotom hasn't taken any damage, and his Chestnut's at like, what, half health? Do you think he's carrying the Spiky Shield? If he goes into Rotom now, that'd be ideal for us. So now he's going to go Chestnut, of course. Oh no, he's not at half- oh, he's at full health. That is so, so risky. Uh, so I guess I'm going to have to take the switch now into Booty. Again, that's really all I can do. Yeah, that's right, he switched out into the Blastoise to take the Psychic. Yeah, uh, so Hitmonlee is going to be withdrawn now. We're going to switch into Booty. Um, knock off. If he has Knock off, that will hurt. But other than that, I don't think he can really touch us. Um, obviously, he's not going to be able to really hurt us too hard with the physical attacks. 
So I could go for a light screen, but again, at the same time, I don't know how much I would really do. So I'll just go for Psychic here. Uh, he's going to withdraw and go into the Erotum. I don't know how well it's going to take a Psychic, not going to lie. Uh, he could be Choice Scarfed, which would kind of mess us up. But let's see what a Psychic does. He might be built Specially Defensive. Let's see. And nice. This, oh, that was a critical hit. Uh, and the Berry. Oh, God. That is just entirely too sketchy for me. Um, what I'm going to do is just stay in. I have to stay in. Well, I guess if anyone has a chance of winning this, it would be Espeon. Like, we need Espeon to take out the... You know what, I'll just risk it. I'm going to stay in. Just fire off another Psychic, see what it does. Uh, it's probably going to Shadow Ball. Or something here. Overheat, yep. Ouch. Uh, lucky for us, his special attack is going to be lowered quite a bit. <gasps> we live! Ooh, that is huge right there. The live is huge. I could have mm, I could have switched. I could have switched. I could have switched. I don't know why I didn't switch right there. Switching would have been the smarter thing to do. Let's go for the T-Bolt. Could have switched. That's fine. Uh, how much health is he looking at? Really all up to hit Monley here. Mock Punch will be able to take him out, which is awesome. So go ahead and throw that out. Coming down to the last play, as you guys can see right here. Now, I don't know, like, Chestnut's defensive, but can a Reckless, Life Orb, Stabbed, High Jump Kick? I might be able to one hit KO it. I don't know if he has a Spiky Shield, though. It's really scary. Having Protect on this thing actually is, would kind of be a good move. Um, what do we do here, guys? What do we do? I am just gonna say that he's not gonna use it. Let's see. What do we, we know he has Drain Punch. Oh, he probably has it. All right, let's go for a high jump kick. If he uses it, oh, he doesn't use it. Nice. That's gonna do not enough. Oh, oh, that's a bummer. Let's see. He's. Are you just trying to insult me, man? Are you just trying to insult me here? I think that's battle. Oh my god. Yeah, that's battle. Alright, Happy, great battle. Literally came down to the last turn. Um, <laughs> uh, that was pretty fair. No one got really too many crits or anything. You made some pretty good predictions, dude. I love that a lot. GG to you guys. Follow Happy on Twitter in the link below and that's gonna be the video guys remember rate comment subscribe hydro cannon that like button for me and as always let the outro roll